Oh my God, I'm in such a rush, I've got so much on. Today's video is for all the business owners that feel like they have constantly got too much on and they need to protect that precious commodity time. Let's relax, take our time, the most precious commodity. So what's the one thing that all business owners have in equal measure? It is time. Now we never know when our time runs out, of course, but we all have 24 hours in a day to get stuff done. And why are some people able to be able to create massive success, get stuff done, absolutely crush, and others struggle, procrastinate, and don't get anything finished? Well, really, there's a few things that we're gonna be sharing in today's video that's gonna allow you to understand how people are stacking their time, getting more done in the time that they have available, and actually creating more success. So if you don't know me, my name's Adam Starr. Hopefully you've been following the channel and seen some of the videos we're doing. We're making videos like this to help business owners. And hey, look, really there's two types of business owners. Business owners that are successful with their time, manage to stack it, get loads done, are growing their companies, making hundreds of thousands of millions of pounds a year because they've got this part of their business journey handled. And then there's unsuccessful business owners that are stressed out, frustrated, struggling, time owned them they don't get to spend time with their family and it's an absolute nightmare and look wherever you're at I'm making this video to help business owners to understand that really there's three elements which can speed our time up and get us better results and this is one thing that everyone needs to get handled to have more success in their life and that is really managing their time in the right way to be able to get them to a place where they're maximizing time so what do we need to do and what are the challenges well, the challenge is for more business owners that are not really getting the success that they want is they have a mentality where, look, I'm the best person to do this job. I'm the only one that can do it. You know, and in terms of me doing it, I'll get it done. I can't trust anybody else with this. And they end up doing everything themselves. And the problem with being this way is, yeah, you probably are really good at what you do and you probably do get it done great. But the reality is you could get so much more done if you had help and you leveraged other people. So really there's three ways that you can get started on clearing your desk, maximizing your time, and getting more out of every single day which will allow you to make more money, allow you to make your life easier, allow you to spend a bit more time with your family. So those big three are automate, delegate, outsource. Let's take a look at them. First of all, let's go to automate. Right now, if you are doing tons of paperwork, if you are somebody that seems to be drowning, you've got paperwork coming in all over the place, you're a business owner that's still doing the invoices, still doing the order forms, there's obviously a problem with your systems. You haven't quite spent enough time on working out a system where you've got automation in place. If you are doing every single follow-up yourself, you're bashing the phone, you're sending all those text messages out yourself, and you haven't automated those types of tasks, we're missing an opportunity. We can automate the order process. We can automate invoicing. We can automate uh, text messages. We can automate emails. And we can do this stuff to make your life easier and get time back. If you're sitting there calling people to remind them of meetings with you, it means that you really haven't got into automation and you're not leveraging tech. So leveraging tech is actually taking a step back, relaxing and saying, hey, how can I work out some of these tech issues to make my life easier in the long term? Now, when you're working every day, you're in the day to day and the day to day is grabbing you, taking hold of you. I know that's tough. I do know that's tough but taking three to four hours to figure out how to automate some simple tasks, they can save you hundreds of hours, thousands of hours in the future and save your team hundreds of thousands of hours when you grow. So you've always got to be looking at what are the simple tasks that you can automate. You can automate your invoicing. You can automate your payments. Like some people are still chasing payments up when they can just be automated coming in with the right softwares. So you've got to look at, and my advice would be, sit there, look at your systems and processes in your business, and all the basic stuff, like the follow-up process, um, like the invoicing process, like the collection process for payments, 
All of this could be automated and you can start to have a look at how you can do this and get it done for you. It's going to save you a lot of time and put you back in the driving seat in your business. Now, four hours out for hundreds of thousands of hours back long term is well worth it. This is about maximizing time. Now, the second one, delegate. Delegate and distribute. So delegate is, you know, you might be in a place right now where you're running your business and you haven't even got anybody to give tasks to. And that can be frustrating and it feels like everything's on you. You're wearing 17 hats, you're doing absolutely everything yourself. You might be scared to take on your first employees or bring people into your business. And the third one's gonna be good for you when we talk about outsourcing in a moment. But what I wanna to say to you is like, building a business and growing a business, you can't do it alone. You gotta build a team of people around you and by building a team of people around you, you can get so much more done. So let me just explain this very quick principle to you so help you to see it in a different way. Let's say you're a business owner. You've got eight hours in the day to work on your business and some of you might be working part-time in your business so you've got five hours, whatever it might be. Now what most business owners do and your typical business owner who's stuck and that's not creating the success that they want, what they do is they say, I've got eight hours, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some hours on and get in early. I'm gonna add some hours on and I'm gonna stay late. So now your eight hours becomes 12 hours. Fast forward five days, you're absolutely shattered. You go home, you don't give the maximum to your family. You don't give the maximum to your friends. You feel like your, life, your work is taking over your life and you're just frustrated. Now we don't want to do that. We've got to be more efficient and smarter if we want to grow a business. Because we've got big dreams, right? You want to go out there, you want to make more money, you want to make more impact, you want to help more people, you want to feel more successful, you want all of these things in your life. Well, one of the simple things that we've got to do is learn to stack time. So you've got eight hours in your business, you work those eight hours. Instead of you then expanding either way, knackering yourself out, you buy another eight hours in. You get someone, even if it's part-time, to come in and work with you. Now you've got 16 hours. That means you're getting twice as much done in a day than you would have done on your own. Plus, you're not knackered. You're still fresh. This gives you the opportunity to make more money. Now, that's just the way it goes. We've got eight. We've got another eight. We've got another eight. Now we've got 24. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting 24 hours' worth of work done in one day because we've got three people rather than just us trying to do it all ourselves. Now, this comes with the added responsibility. You know, spoiler alert. You've got to train these people. You have to work with these people. You have to pass on your knowledge. But by slowing down, taking a seat, spending time with your people, showing them how to do the things that you do and passing on that knowledge, you will then save yourself hundreds to thousands of hours in the long term. So don't be one of those business owners that's trying to keep it all to yourself and trying to do everything to yourself because it's gonna keep you stuck. And I'm pleading with you because look, I've been there, I've done that. That way doesn't work. The way that entrepreneurs grow and make more money is by stacking time, using labor leverage, utilizing other people, utilizing other people's skills, training them to get you to grow in the long term. Now we've got automate, giving you some guidance on there. We've got delegate and distribute. Distribute is go and get them to do the work. Give those tasks out after you train them. And the third one, which is for me, you know, really valuable for a small business owner is outsourcing. You gotta look at who can you outsource the work that you've got. Now the problem for a lot of business owners, especially at the start, especially at the beginning, is what happens is you end up doing everything yourself. You suddenly become chief marketing officer. You're suddenly chief salesperson. You're suddenly the super tech guru of your business because there's nobody else. You have gotta do all the IT. You might even be trying to build the website and the products and everything else at the same time and it's driving you nuts. Everything seems tough, it seems hard. Because when you used to work for someone else, all that other stuff, it was done for you, right? You were a cog in the machine, other people had their roles because that was a proper business set up in a proper way, but now you're on your own, it is becoming tough. And you are finding yourself becoming overwhelmed. Does this sound familiar? If it's not you, do you know anybody else that's going through that? If you do, make sure you share this video with them because we're gonna have some real good guidance that can help them to escape that situation. So when things are stacking up like that and time looks tough, what we've got to understand is that 
we can bring in people for very small amounts of money, very small investments to work with your business part time. And actually one of the biggest growing movements across the world right now is freelancing, outsourcing. In fact, there are more freelancers right now in America by all accounts, by stats, than in, there are actually employed workers. So people are wanting to take control of their own future. They're now freelancing their skills in the market to business owners that need help. So if you're sitting there and you're stuck, and you are stuck with stuff like bookkeeping, don't be stuck with it, outsource it. If you're stuck with invoicing, get a VA, get them invoicing for you. If you're stuck with people following up your clients, you can never follow them up, get somebody to do it for you, outsource it. You can go on places like Upwork, Freelancer, um, Fiverr, uh, PH Online, all these different sites, 99 Designs, everything that you're stuck with, you can get somebody else to do for you for very small amounts of money and it can allow you to make faster progress. So really look at your business. And if you are a business owner right now, you're watching this video and you feel like you've got a full plate, you feel like you're really busy. You have gotta look and have a little analysis of your business, slow down, what can you outsource? What can you delegate? Who can you train to do this job right? And who can you outsource to? If you look at those areas of your business and you start to do these three things, you're gonna find that you move faster, make more progress, make more money. Look, hope you found that this uh, video has been really helpful for you. I really make this for business owners. I have been in that seat where I'm doing all the work, I'm feeling stressed, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm feeling overwhelmed. You know, I've been there 100% and you don't have to be. So hopefully you found some value in this video that can allow you to go and actually start to offload some of these things that you've not been finishing or getting done and put you in a different position because that will allow you to grow and make more progress in your business. And if you have, of course, enjoyed the video, please do make sure to subscribe. We're making videos like this all the time. We make these videos to help business owners to have an easier life because I've done it the stressful way. I know what it's like. I took multiple companies to eight figures in revenue and built businesses for the long term, which is awesome. And I just wanna share some of those lessons on the journey that I've had because I wish some people would have shared it with me earlier. Hopefully you found the value in this. And if you have, drop us a like like or a comment, tell me what business you're in. I'm really intrigued to know who you are, uh, who's watching. It'd be really cool to hear from you if you found this useful. And look at the big three. What can you automate? What can you delegate? What can you outsource to make your life easier?